Hi there, I'm Danny, spiritualtherapist.com, and this evening I bring you the great Jean Charles Moyen. Good evening, Jean Charles. Good evening, Danny. How are you? Oh, comment allez-vous, chérie? <laughs> Très bien. <laughs> Très bien, me aussi. Oh, my goodness. So, to the audience here, um, some of you will have already in um, three broadcasts so far with Jean-Charles Moyen. You'll be familiar with him, but there will be those of you that are not. And so just in brief, this man before you, as a little child, a young teenager also, was taken and recruited into the French Secret Space Program. Now, I'm going to include the first three interviews, one with Dr. Michael Saller, one with Elena Denan in English, and one with Elena Denan en Francais. And they will be below, below this uh, video that you're watching now. So you'll have plenty of time to really absorb everything Jean-Charles has shared thus far. And Jean-Charles, I would love to start with you today, sharing your first childhood memory. Okay. Um... My first memories was when I was in my parents in the, in the summer, uh, I playing in the, in the sand and um, suddenly I disappear. I disappear really. And uh, they researched me uh, during one hour. And suddenly my mother cry with my father, oh, we are lost uh, our child. And uh, suddenly I reappear in the same place no foot in the, in the sand, nothing in the same place. After that, um, I develop a, a lot of abilities, strange abilities. Uh, when I'm crying, um, the, the light uh, shut down and uh, light off and uh, research, re recharge me uh, when I was very tired. And uh, I was able to um, healing healing uh, uh, people and uh, you and uh, uh, animals and uh, it was uh, fantastic but my parents don't tell anything for everybody to keep the, the secret because it's very dangerous uh, in uh, 45 years ago and um, we keep the secret and um, when I was a teenager I developed a, a lot of uh, abilities like uh, telepathy, but uh, telekinesis. And uh, I'm filming uh, my experiences with a camcorder. And uh, in my movie, South Shore, there is a fun footage. Uh, and uh, this is not a, a special effect. It's a real, it's real me at 16. And then I, I can move uh, the object with my mind and uh, open the light with my mind too. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, um, I was an uh, experiment uh, when I was a child, when I was a, a, a little school, uh, it, it's happened uh, something very strange about me. Uh, it's, it's not um, a memories like uh, uh, hypnosis, it's real things happen. I was in exam in a school, in a, in a classroom, and uh, in the exam, I, I want to go to the toilet. And um, I asked to uh, my, my professor, uh, can I go to the toilet? But everything was frozen. And uh, she, don't, she don't ask me, so she don't answer me. So I go to the toilet. I arrive in the toilet. And uh, suddenly, when I was in the, in the toilet, uh, the, the light off, you know, the light off. And after, before the light off, I was uh, dizzy. And I, I think, uh, I, I remember I was uh, uh, tinkling in my, in my body. And uh, when I opened the, the light, I was in a toilet, but not the same, not the toilet of the school. I was in the toilet of the apartment of my parents, uh, a few kilometers, uh, and I was inside. And uh, in, in, a, in a school, all my stuff was stay in my table with my coat, with my keys, with my pen, with my exam. And uh, they, they try to open uh, the, the, the door in the toilet and they lock inside and there is no windows and we are in the two floor. 
So I was really teleport. Mm -hmm. Do you think he would teleport? Were you feeling stress and anxiety during that exam? Does that have anything to do with the state of emotion that you were in that would actually have, was there a wish, oh God, I wish I was at home, I wish I could get out of this. And was there a consciousness of, of this or why do you think that actually happened to you? Uh, my teleportation? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, it, it's not con consciousness. Uh, I was just in the toilet and I don't want to report. I want to go to, to the classroom to finish my exam. Mm -hmm. So I think something was something in the universe teleport me yeah. and uh, they, they want to, to, to re-teleport me, but they the wrong place. Maybe it's not the same uh, beings uh, teleport me. It's it's a it's an error, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, okay, uh, in the, in the toilet, go to the toilet. But oh, it's not the same. Oh, it's not it's not important. Yeah. A, a, and 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 it's what's an accident, I think. As, uh, the beings teleport me, right. uh, want to teleport me uh, in in the toilet. But for us, the toilet is a toilet, mm. not the same place. So ah. my parents uh, must lie to the director to see, oh, my, my son was very sick and uh, he go to a... <laughs> but when they, they, they come, the locust smith uh, to open the door in the... Where is Dunshaw? Where, where, where we can go? Because it's, it's locked inside and there is no windows and uh, there is a, just a, a four wall with a door in France is like that, and uh, no window, and the two floor. This is the first time I teleport. The second time, I was more older. I was 20, and it's very, very unbelievable, okay? So open mind. <laughs> I was in my room in the ninth floor of the apartment of my parents, and I look a photo of my girlfriend at, at this time. And I tell, I tell him, oh, I do anything to be with, with her, with, uh, with my girlfriend. And suddenly I was a dizzy, just one second. And I think, uh, I feel a lot of tingling. And one second, it's, it's not too long. One second, I open my eyes and I, I am in the front of a door in a lot of kilometers of my, my apartment. It, it was February, very cold. I was um, no shoes with my, my t-shirt and uh, the door was locked in, in my apartment. The keys and the shoes and the, and the coat was on my bed. So everything, every stuff was on my bed. My father go to the job and, uh, oh my God, where is my son? And I call my father, dad, I am to my girlfriend. Okay, but how? Oh, I'm teleport. He, oh my God, I see your stuff in your bed. Okay, son, I, I'm going with your clothes. Okay, so it was the twice. And after that, my girlfriend was uh, afraid and right, she believed so, me. Right, yes. because, I mean, that's a lot, isn't it? So what when you knocked on the door and said, hey, it's me, how are you? Like, what did she, like, what did and, she And she, 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 she tell me, uh, well, where are you here? Um, did you remember I have uh, abilities, special abilities? Yes, yes, yes. This is my abilities. I teleport. And she, she, she looked me no no shoes and uh, a little t-shirt uh, summer summer t-shirt on you and uh, i live in uh, 15 55 kilometers and uh, no bus uh, no keys yeah. and everything and she realized all is real mm. and she afraid of and a few weeks later she tell me it's finished we break the relation mm. i was very 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 um very 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 shy very sad you know Aww. sad yeah so i uh, so um i i prefer don't don't uh, talk about the people about uh, 
yeah. this experience, but it's real. It's not, a, oh, I, I have a, tra a travel, astral travel, or a lot of things. No, 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 it's a real, yeah. real, with a it, witness, my parents, yeah. my, my father, my mother, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's my life. And yeah. uh, there is a lot of things uh, happens to me, and um, it's not an hypnosis. I, I do hypnosis 40, 40 years after to um because i have a, a little hole in my memory you know um but uh, 85 percent i remember everything real it's happened uh, military service and uh, commando and uh, uh, uh disappear in 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 the beach uh, in front of my parents and the telekinesis uh, i have the proof because i i i'm filming i'm lucky to filming that and uh, when I when I moved to Canada, um, I found the 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 re recorder the um, the tape, okay. But it's it's a uh, with um, mush in, inside the tape, and uh, oh my god! And I, I go to the uh, a shop in uh, in uh, in uh, Montreal, and uh, the guys have a lot of uh, video recorder to to make a copy. And uh, he put the, the video recorder and say, mm, good luck, because um, it's a very, very bad uh, uh, video. Yeah. And he tried to rec and, and, and he tried to 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 record in the in the, in the CD. And uh, after he he, um, he tried to, to record the the tape explode in the oh. video recorder. And they tell me, oh my God, you are lucky guys. Everything is this on the DVD. And the DVD is the only proof I have when I can move the, the object when I was 16 mm. and open uh, a lot of a lot of things. So is in is inside the footage of the South Shore. And yeah. uh, I'm very, very blessed for uh, for a record uh, in the DVD. Definitely, definitely. Um, it's like, for example, I'm going to go back to when you were four because I have a specific question for you, but mm -hmm. I just want to say, as more and more um, of us find each other mm -hmm. and as more and more of us um, have proof of long-term memory, other people that remember way, way back, that we're not just like popping out two years ago and saying, hey, hey, girl, hey. You know, this the, the newest trend is to be abducted by aliens. And I don't mean that unkindly to any single person that actually has experienced that. There's nothing to be mocked at all, whether it's a good or a negative experience, in my opinion. But the other day, Elena made another, Elena Danan, our friend, um, she made another um, video and uh, a broadcast, and she was sharing her drawings from her, her childhood from a little girl and from a young girl and from connecting with Thorhan, the Pleiadian that rescued her. Um, and it's uh, and drawings of Annex, her, her, you know, um, her father, um, and uh, from, from, you know, the Egoroth, her father. And uh, it's so lovely, like, that, that, and you've got your mum and dad and you've got this background footage and there's absolutely no way in this world of sceptical programming that's been infiltrated. It's not necessarily that we are naturally sceptical. It's that we've yeah. been programmed hardwired to be that way. Um, so that's beautiful. And I love that, that uh, you've got your own evidence there in the background. I want to ask you a question about that specific four-year-old little boy standing on the beach who suddenly disappears into thin air in front of his mom and dad and then one hour later comes right back with no just boom boom now do you remember any feelings that you had in yourself do you have any memories that have come back from where you went and how you got back yes uh after that, I tell to my parents, I was, uh, I, I am a child, okay? So may, maybe it's a memory of child, the imagination, but not. I tell, oh, uh, I was in a spaceship. Okay. And uh, what do you do? Um, I was uh, with a uniform and uh, there is a lot of uh, people with a strange face, like, uh, extraterrestrial and I have a seven, seven okay and uh, I describe 
everything now we speak about ECSP, the secret space program, and uh, like uh, Corey or uh, Randy uh, or uh, Tony tell, uh, but me, I was seven. So I, I am presently 52 years. Do you imagine when I spoke, uh, a, a, a boy of seven years speak and draw um, a spaceship and uh, draw uh, a slave in, uh, in the moon with a gray, with a big eyes. I spoke about naturally with my parents and my parents, okay, 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 because they know I'm very special because I disappear. I move some, some object in the front of my parents. My, yeah. my parent is witness of that. So when I describe something in a spaceship, they, okay, I hear you. I listen, okay, mm. explain. Though it's very, very, my parents is, uh, is unbelievable parents because they protect me and they listen me and they don't um, judge me. And uh, when I describe it to my parents, oh, um, uh, yes, I'm wake up in the morning in the pajamas and my, my, my mother tell me, where are you go tonight? It's a, it's, it's a, it's a joke, okay? Like, oh, uh, I was in a beach uh, with uh, um, a blue lagoon uh, like Bahamas, okay? Oh, why? Because uh, you're tan. What? And I have the, the, the traces of my glasses. And my mother do my bed. And inside my bed, in, in my toes, there is a, a sand, and... a white sand. Not a sand in the in the toy or for a, no no it's the white sand. Yeah. Curiously, I was in the Bahamas. There was five years ago, so I was it before forty five years. Yeah yeah. Can you imagine? Maybe I move in the in the in the timelines. I don't yeah. know. It's just so, great that physical evidence that you had and the physical evidence oh, yes. that your mummy like yeah. saw. It's just again, and, and again, you know, we, there's a saying that we choose our parents when we come in. I'm just so happy that you had a pet, you know, mom and dad who really loved you and protected you. And, and again, when you disappeared in front of them into thin air, when you were teleported onto a ship and you came back, they really had no choice. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's kind of yeah. hard to dismiss that if it happens right in front of you, right? So, yeah, but it's a very, very um, positive experience. Mm. Uh, not like uh, Tony, because Tony, it's very a uh, bad experience, and yeah. uh, I, 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 I like very much Tony. It's, it's, a, it's a bad experience because of dark fleet and slavery and a lot yeah. of things. Yeah. It's a serious and um, much so, love for my, for, for, for Tony. Tony and, uh, let's just talk about Tony because you've mentioned him. To those that don't know, because not, you know, like I said to you before we started, not everyone okay. knows everything we're talking about. So guys, audience, lovely people watching this, uh, Jean-Charles is uh, referring to a friend of ours. His name is Tony Rodriguez. And Tony Rodriguez was taken by off-planet arsewipes um, when he was 10 years old because a kid in school with a satanic uh, link to a father and Illuminati um, didn't like something Tony said to this kid and Tony was taken off planet and then served in secret space programs, which thank goodness are no longer secret. Everyone's talking about them. There's a massive movement in this disclosure that's happening every single day. But guys, Tony Rodriguez, his story is absolutely fascinating, mind blowing. And as Jean-Charles says, like kind of harrowing. Um, there is an actual full interview um, with myself and Tony on this channel. So please feel free to go scroll through. And I think it's the title is The Little Boy Who Was Taken or The Little Boy Who Was Abducted. And you can read Tony's, well not read, but you can actually see Tony's one-to-one -one conversation with me like Jean-Charles and I are having right now. So Tony Rodriguez, and he's come out with a book and because Tony spent a lot of time on series, on the planet series, C-E-R-E-S, and Tony's book is Series, Colony, Cavalier, 
mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. So love to you, Tony. Love you, mate. Love you so much. So proud of you. So Jean Charles, back to you. Thank you for um, honoring honoring our friend uh, and your fellow um, secret space program um, soldier. So when you were four, you I think you're pretty much saying you have no memory of where you'd been, but the memories came out when you were seven and you started drawing. Is that correct? Yes, yes, correctly. And after after that, after uh, I, I I I love I have a lucid dream, like I tell to uh, Dan Winter uh, yesterday. Um, my my father um, experienced all things with me. I just test me. Oh, can you do that? Can you do that? Okay, dad. Okay, I, I'm a child, so I I I listen to my parents. So my my father was very funny and he hey if you can bring something in your dream can you imagine if you go with too far more far like what like another planet okay and i'm a child so oh why not and in the night i dream i was in the planet the name of planet was antares there is a lot of beings, um, uh, fill, fill in beings, um, cat people, and uh, a lot of things. And there is a lot of uh, crystal in the, in the, in the, in the ground in the, in the tree. Somebody can uh, um, eat the crystal, and uh, the crystal was a very part of this planet. Okay, and I I walk in the, in the river, and there is there is a list of crystal in the in the front of a, of me, and inside the river in the ground. And um, I wake up and uh, I tell to my parents, hey, uh, tonight I was in another planet. Oh, really? Oh, son, interesting. And you have some bring something? Oh, no, no. But uh, I, I think, uh, okay, maybe the next time. So the next time was the next night. And I take my bag, um, my, um, a little bag with a, a little bottle, empty. And um, I'm a child, okay? Everything is possible when we, when we are a child. You, you live in your world. Oh, so I, maybe if I am in the same place, I take something with me, like the sand, the sand, okay? So I sleep and I wake up in my dream and I realize I wake up in my dream. So it's very bizarre, you know? And, oh, I am in the same clothes, my pajamas and, uh, oh, it's curious. Oh, I realize I dream. Do I dream? Mm, okay. I walk and I, hello, hello, be, beings uh, uh, salute me and uh, hello, hello. And I am in the same place with uh, crystal in the, in, the, in the ground. And I take my bag and open my bottle and look, 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 look. And I bring uh, the crystal. Oh, okay. And uh, I close and I take my bag. And I wake up in my bed. I take my hand. No, nothing. I take my shoes and oh, there is my bag in, in, in near my my uh, my bed. I take my bag and flock flock. What is that? I open the bag, and this is a bottle with the the the, the red um, the red um, water with uh, a lot of crystal inside. So I go to, um, to the, the kitchen and I tell to my parents, hey, uh, I was uh, in another planet, like, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. And I say, uh, I have a proof. Mm -hmm. Okay, son, okay, I know you. And I put the bottle in the, in the table. My parents take a coffee. Thing. <laughs> and they open the bottle and it smells like... Uh, orange uh, flowers and uh, and my mother cooking uh, at the same time and she's very uh, oh my god and she burned uh, her hand in the um, in the elements because it's a red and uh, oh my god very injuries okay my father i don't know why he, he do that he take a, a little piece of cotton and uh, take the, the the liquid and put in the head of my my mother hand and uh, everything disappeared. Yeah. Everything was uh, cured. So, oh my God. So my father said, oh, there is a, a lot of um, water. Maybe if I take another um, 
water inside there is a more water no no don't do that hey, the water uh, transformed to um black water oh you kill the water that okay well sorry talk he, he, he takes the, the crystal in a little box and uh, there is a curious because the crystal was green like an emerald and uh, it was very uh, shining and uh, and one night they disappear in my bedroom like other things i have yeah. except the photographs and except uh, uh, some something i have or, or memories of my witness parents and but when I bring something, if I don't take a photo, oh, it's uh, it disappears in a few days. And yeah. uh, like, uh, don't don't keep that. It's it's very important. Right. But I have a, a picture of that, and uh, it's it's very unbelievable. And my parents was witness about uh, all all that. I, I go to skiing, and uh, I wake up. I remember I wake up with uh, my skiing glasses like that you know like, the big glasses when yeah you goggles yeah. yeah yeah goggles yes the same so and you're I saying was, uh, you went skiing on a different planet wearing goggles and you came back and you teleported the goggles <laughs> with you oh my yes. god do you know what planet that was that you skied on uh no no skiing in in um, in the uh, in the earth not okay, skiing in, uh, in in uh, okay uh, oh but but it was very amazing because there is a it's not a dream yeah because you you can bring something in your dream yeah okay yes, uh, you and when you you go to astral travel too you you can you are immortal you 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 feel you you the color is very bright everything but you you can take something you go to, you go through the yeah. the, 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 the the material mm -hmm. but I not just me. Wanna... You know, it's, it's interesting because on the planet too, <clears throat> when we look at a lot of the ancient cultures, um, especially uh, the story I'm going to share quickly here is the Tamils, the Tamil Indians, um, you yeah. know, near the Himalayas or the Himalayas are pronounced in different regions, different ways. And I met a man who uh, was very much set up as a guru, uh, but he told us a story that um, they were traveling, him and a team were traveling and they were going to be filming some major um, mm. event in Angkor Wat, you know, because this man actually believed that he had birthed Angkor Wat, one of the sacred, um, you know, wonders of the world on the planet, a sacred temple. Um, and at customs, they had a really, really um, important camera and they didn't want to let go of it. But the people at the airport were like, no, you're not getting on this plane until you give the camera so they had to you know acquiesce and, and and do that and they were all so annoyed but they all knew how to teleport um and how to uh, make things come to them and that by the end of the flight that camera was underneath the seat they had they had uh, transformed the energy disintegrated whatever you want to call it, on all the different levels and layers of explanation and the camera that had been in the hold under the plane was now under the seat. And the guru, I'm not gonna say his name, the guru was actually very annoyed with them and said, you do not use those gifts for that. You do not do that. But anyway, that was just him. But um, yeah, so, so, so we on the planet earth for thousands of years have had the abilities and the technologies already they've just been taken and hidden from us and it's beautiful that people like you are so brave and so colorful and just giving such context and texture that's helping other people who kind of wonder about the gifts they have they don't have to have a horrible alien abduction story they don't have to have been on the secret space program they can just go inside and connect to their innate abilities that we all have we have so many of the abilities that you're talking about i want to ask you about antares where you went as a little boy in your sleep teleporting there and can you tell us where antares is what does it look like and what do the feline beings there look like Alors, uh, antares is not the same antares uh, everything knows it's a a, a lot there is a lot of planets in the in the universe and there is a antares was um, a ring um like that and like that like a saturn but 
like this, okay? There is a lot of beings inside. Uh, they live outside, they live inside. They uh, have a culture. There is a, a, a hybrid, uh, cat people, hybrids, cat people, just like a cat, but uh, stand like a humans. They communicate in telepathy. There is a, a dog. Uh, there is a, um, um, a lions. Okay, uh, there is a, a lot of races in Antares, and uh, all, pe all people and all beings um, live together, and uh, they, they live uh, normally, uh, like uh, no, no war, very kind, uh, uh, and they know me when, I, when I'm going to this planet, they know me, re they recognize me because uh, they, they, they um, salute me. And uh, salute is uh, correctly yes. salute. Yes. 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 <laughs> salute. And uh, it's like uh, ah, welcome to your home. Well, welcome. Welcome back. Uh, and uh, nobody knows. Uh, don't do that. When I take the bottle, I see some beings look at me, and uh, they don't. They don't tell me don't do that because they knows they they can take uh, yeah. uh, teleports. Uh, okay. Yeah. if you want but we we we, we come back to <laughs> yeah, the crystal totally. and again you know everything that's happening on the planet now in terms of disclosure has already been seen and it is known it is not just opening and everyone's like wow this is all brand new everyone knows everybody off planet was all part of this and everyone that you connected to and of course it seems you're one of the brave ones it's not that they're all brave but you you decided you were going to come in this form you know, and that may have been one of the last planets you were on before you birthed here on the Earth. What do you think? You tell me uh, before to incarn in in uh, in this uh, planet. Uh, my name was Luca, mm. and uh, I was an Ultimian, no hair, green skin, and uh, red eyes. Like your friend. And, yeah, exactly. Because we have the same DNA, Victor and me. So mm. we are really brother, not brother like, uh, oh, you are my brother. No, no, really brother Real DNA. Blood DNA, yeah. Yes. This is wow. the reason why I, I can see Victor the first time I yeah. meet Victor in my room when I was uh, 12 years. I was uh, wake up in, in, in the night because uh, something... Uh, uh, um, find something in my room and I was uh, awake up and uh, I see uh, a, a beings and he don't move because he think if I don't move he don't see me and I see I see you and uh, he, he approached me and uh, he, he come to the bottom of my bed sorry um, and he tell me um, hello my name is Victor. Where are you here? I'm here to protect you. Because in the future, there are something to happen to you and you ask a question and uh, you want to answer. So I'm here to protect you and uh, to, um, um, to help you in the future because you have a, a big mission and uh, you will be a part of something big. And the part is uh, ECSP. And uh, I understand now why you tell me that in my room, mm. because some somebody tell, oh, why, 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 John Charles, why, why him? But because I was chosen before I was in the hearse. Yes, it's yeah. not my my first uh, life. Uh, I was in the two um, secret space program. I, I was in the secret space program uh, in Earth. And I was in a program, extraterrestrial program, before I come in the body of John Charles. Yes, that's true. And thank you so much, because that really does validate the point yes. I was trying to make. And again, as we're trying to help people get more comfortable with disclosure, it's like mm -hmm. giving all the different layers and levels that, yes. that we now bring the truth that we've all been off planet. And this is part of a decided decision, a program that we would all then support each other. Um, there's so many ways we could go here. Um, I think if we stick with your 
your DNA um, extraterrestrial off planet beautiful brother Victor. Um, so was Victor the first being that you consciously remember seeing physically yeah. on Earth? Uh, no, when I was four, um, I remember uh, when I was in the sand, I was surrounded with a worm and a little uh, light particle around me, tinkling, and I left the ground. And I'm arrived in a big spaceship, very, very bright. And I was in a metal uh, liquid table. They take my form when I move. And there is a four beings in front, behind, left, right, uh, very bright beings. Okay, this is the first, the first being, but I don't see the the face. It was very, very, very bright, light, uh, uh, light being. Okay, and uh, after that, they touched my head and um, they they check something. I don't know. Uh, and uh, after that, the, the light off uh, and. I see, I remember now, but before now, I see a being come into the room and tell to other beings, okay, I take, uh, I take the, the, the sequel the, and uh, leave me, leave me alone with the, with, with, the, with the boys. And it was Victor. But I don't remember this part because when I go to the, the, the beach, when I teleport in the beach, I forget everything. And after that, for me, the first time I see a being, it was when I was 12 in my room and Victor tell me, is it the reason why I'm not afraid by Victor? Because I remember in the case of my brain, I, I know him but it's, it's just a sensation. And Victor tell me, you, you see me? And I tell, yes, but it's impossible. I mean, yes, it's possible because we have the same DNA and the, the vibratory frequency is the same. So I can see Victor, but yeah. there is something before my mother saw Victor. Is an accident. She was in a, in a, alone in a, in the apartment, and she was uh, take a book and um, she was on the ground and uh, she felt somebody behind. It's not me. I'm in school. It's not my father. He is in a job, and she turned and nobody. And when she turned. Nobody. So she decides she don't turn and just rise her eyes in the front. <laughs> and she look Victor check what she do. And she remember she have 18 uh, in a, in a, in a two months. And she remember like yesterday. Mm. And uh, I saw, uh, and I, I say, Victor, is it you? I'm turn around now, don't be afraid me. And she turned and he disappeared. But I, she, she tell me, I remember John Charles, I see Victor behind me. And she look, what she say, what she do? That's it's um, it, yes it's amazing yeah do you think there's a family connection between your mother and victor mm. also oh yes 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 mm. I, I i have the same parents in the space like my parents here yeah my parents don't remember some something my father but it's it's me oh uh dad and mom mm. we are in this body but you are the soul of my parents in a, in a spaceship yeah. before I live. And uh, oh, okay, I understand why we, we believe you. We believe you because you are my son. Yeah. And we believe you because we are witness of uh, all things. And my parents was, was very um, uh, secret because uh, my family don't believe that. And uh, a member of my family uh, tell to my mother one day, 
uh, you must go to the psychiatric hospital. Uh, okay. And uh, what did you say? Oh, it's, 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 uh, you're crazy. You think my, 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 my son is crazy? So I'm crazy and my, and my husband is crazy because we are, we are witness of, and uh, my family member tell me, oh, okay. But my, my mother was very um, exciting because she, she, she know everything and uh, she can talk. So it's very uh, important because uh, we keep the secrets between uh, my mother, my, my father and me just three person to speak about what's happened to me. Yeah, yeah, that's so amazing. So wonderful and so many levels. And my God, I'm so glad you were so beautifully protected because it could have gone all kinds of different awful ways. And for some children and for some young adults, it has, unfortunately. Now, I want to go back to the description because a lot of people right now who have been listening and learning over the last two years, mainly through people like Elena Danan in particular, about yeah. reptilians and the different types of alien na you know, nations and, and, and races. So you describe him as green uh, with red eyes. And so some yeah. people are going to go straight to reptilian, sicar, draconian. Now, can you explain the difference, please? So people aren't freaking out and going, oh, you lost me there. He's, he's a reptile. <laughs> no, no, because no, you, no, no. You know how silly people are be behaving lately, right? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. No, he's, he's not a reptilian. He's a ultimian. Like the planet is a ultima, ultima. Okay? And uh, the people in, in this planet have uh, uh, the, gr the, green screen, the green skin, Okay, like uh, we are a dark screen or green screen and uh, no pupils with just a red eyes and no hair. And there are beautiful beings and uh, um, uh, Victor uh, is a part of a conglomerate, in, uh, interstellar conglomerate. You have a, a place, important place uh, with a conglomerate, Galactic Confederation, Galactic Federation, anyway. You, you yeah. know, so um, no, no, he's not a reptilian. I know reptilians. <laughs> I, I meet reptilians uh, because when I was in the space force, uh, French space force, I I, I work with uh, my team. I have a squad, and uh, we have a reptilians, uh, not Draco, but we, some Draco turn in the in a good um, in a good um, camp. You know, good camp. They, they change, they, they, they think it's a better, and uh, old Draco was not, uh, was not um, bad. Uh, there yeah. is a bad Draco, there is a black Draco. Nobody knows that. I was against a black Draco and I was a big injuries and I, and I, and I live and I die uh, if we, we don't put me in a, in a bed bed, in a Solaris, I was dead. Okay, this is a, another story, but, but um, what I say? Um, oh, wait, Draco. Uh, we, we have a squad team and we uh, rescue um, some people in Mars or another planet because uh, the Draco uh, is very, um, very bad in the, in the solar system. So I was a team with uh, uh, humans and hybrid and uh, gray and uh, hybrid gray and uh, reptilian. But there is a lot of reptilians. There is a reptilian uh, extraterrestrial. There is a reptilian aqua reptilian. There is an intraterrestrial reptilian. There is a lot of reptilian, like uh, there is a lot of humans. Yeah. Okay. So um, all reptilians is not to take to to put in the same bag you know mm -hmm. he, the reptilian uh, there is a good human yes yeah, there is a good reptilian some yeah. people think reptilian is, oh is no no yeah <laughs> i know it's, so it's, it's very a, important it's very it's very, very important. important it's very yes. important to kind of just layer it out lay it out very gently uh because yeah. some people are hardwired now like if they hear something yes. about the third, I third understand. degree yeah they're like off they're like just i understand i understand the yeah, people because definitely. uh when 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 you you tell reptilian people oh okay i change yeah they, they yeah. block and yeah. i understand so don't worry. And there are also so many people right now who are part of the disinformation program. 
that has been mm -hmm. turned on in their brains, in their minds. It's not technology that's used. It's an inserted memory program that can't be detected. And we call these people Trojan horses. Once they're inside a community of people who are so open and vulnerable to listening to information like you, they are at potential risk of being hoodwinked and taken down a different path and away from complete and utter uh, freedom of self, you know, individual self. So thank you for explaining that. Um, can you please, because you've already now teased us, um, can we talk about the um, your fight with the Black Draco? What happened yeah. to you? Where were you? And what is Solaris? And then I think we need to go back to when you were actually recruited when you had your event and you were in the hospital. Is that okay? Is that not too much to overload? Okay. Yes, it's, 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 a, it's a very uh, big, uh, big stuff, okay? Um, first, uh, when I was in the summer camp, uh, I was uh, 13 and uh, I was a big sunstroke and uh, I was hospitalized because I was dehydrated and um, they put me in the scanner because I have a, a lot of headache and they discovered uh, something very strange in my brain, like a metal capsule, you know, uh, like a Tic Tac. <laughs> and um, they, 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 they think it's a, it's a dust, but uh, they twice the, the, the X-ray and uh, it was not. So they put me in a room and uh, I remember uh, I lost consciousness uh, a few times because I have a, a, a solute in, uh, in my arm with a uh, nutriment because I have dehydrated. And I remember when I opened my eyes, the doctor come uh, the x-ray and a military guys enter in the same room and uh, she checked my, uh, my x-ray. It's curious because uh, I'm a civil, you know, so what's uh, a military is here it's because uh, I have something in my uh, right <laughs> in my x-ray and I try to understand what he say. And uh, it's very difficult for me because uh, the military don't speak French, no English too. He speak German. Mm -hmm. And after that, I lost consciousness. Um, they put me a mask uh, in, uh, in my, in my uh, face uh, with a green gaze. I remember that. And uh, suddenly I was wake up by uh, somebody, uh, a military guy with a, a white hair, with a blue eyes. And he tell me, uh, hurry up, hurry up, wake up. Oh, okay, oh, what, 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 what matter? And <laughs> he tell me, um, hurry up. Uh, we go down, we, we don't miss the jump. What the jump? Okay, I understand. I don't understand now. Uh, I go down and uh, I follow the guys and in a long corridor and uh, we arrive to a, a, a elevator. Now, I think uh, they want to transfer me in another section because I have something uh, wrong in my head. Mm. So, uh, are you walking? Are you on foot? Or are you no, no, on I, yeah, I, I walking. I walking. And uh, we arrived in the open the door and there is a military guy in a black suit with a red triangle in the chest with um, uh, glasses. Mm, strange guys, okay? And um, we go down and uh, we go deep. It's it's curious because uh, it's not so deep in the hospital and uh, I'm very anxious. And when I am anxious, the light off, the light on, the light off, the light on. And uh, the electricity with me is in an interaction. And the guys, oh, don't keep calm. Everything is okay. Everything happened, okay? Believe me. Okay, we arrive in the um, basement of the hospital and the doors open and there is a lot of children in the lineup, okay? And uh, the guys, the military guys tell me, okay, um, I leave you, good luck. Good luck, okay, uh, I'm here. <laughs> oh. So go to the table, okay? I go to the table and there is a, a, a woman, she tell me, uh, hello, put your hand in a box. What? Put your hand in a box. I take my hand in a box, and I'm and it was to check my DNA, uh, like a signature, but in my DNA. And uh, there is a light ray like this. And okay, she gave me a suit 
with a winged horse, silver winged horse, and put this uh, suit and go to the lineup with the other children. Yeah. I go to, I'm very calm, I'm very serenity, and mm. it's, uh, I'm not afraid, curiously. Like, uh, I'm powerful, nobody happens to me. And I go, and after enter in a big tunnel of light, I lost consciousness like uh, one uh, second. Right. And I am in the other anger with a lot of uh, military and a lot of uh, uh, people in white suit. And, uh, and there is the X-ray doctor, the same. Uh -huh. He talked to a military and this is the boy I told you. And we enter in the in a room, and there is a lot of things to fright, uh, frighteners and uh, afraid to um, test our um, fear. A lot of children failed, not me, and it's a success for me. And she tell me, go to this next room. And I enter in the next room, and in the dark, there is a big mantis. And I'm not afraid, too. She come with me with the big eyes, and she take her big paw in my shoulder and communicate telepathically with me and tell me, don't worry, everything is okay. You have been chosen. And collapse and I wake up in my bed but in my bed in the hospital and I think oh oh my god I remember everything and I'm very dizzy and uh, everything turned and uh, I lost consciousness again oh, wow. and when I open my eyes I open my eyes because I'm awake by a, a horn I am in a bus with my bag and I leave the hospital, go to the summer camp. And oh my God, oh my God. And I go to the summer camp and I explain to my friend, uh, hey, uh, do you know it's a, oh, you're crazy, you're crazy. And it's very sad for me. Mm. And in this night, I go to, through the door and I go to the, the camp with the mountain and I cry my life. And I believe I don't want to be here anymore. Mm. Come and take me. And something happened in the, in the sky. And there is a, a, a little point move. And it was not a point. It was a disc. And I was abducted again. Except when I arrived in, in, the, in the space, in the space room, there is a lot of uh, uh, aliens. Victor is here. And Victor tell me, welcome back to Solaris. Mm. And there is a corridor and there is a, a, a girl, a woman come and there is a blonde, beautiful blonde girl with a blue eyes. And she introduced, hello, my name is Maria, but everybody call me Mary, follow me. And I follow her and I go to the classroom. There is a lot of children but every children was aliens, except one. She tell me everything is an alien, but you are with these guys, this boy, the only two humans. Her name is David. And David Rousseau, an experiencer and a, a writer in, in French guys, describe the same things, the classroom, the Solaris, Maria, the child, everything before no me. He write a book. The book is in edition. My movie is finished and we, we street date realize in the same time and uh, we don't know each other and there is the same memories. You know, the same memories. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable yeah. to live the same things. Yeah. 
And it's very purposeful in the grand plan as well, the fact that two little French boys were both put on the same program, met each other off planet in that situation where you were, came back and retained memory and shared memory. And sometimes it's because, well, one of you may have been taken out, at least there's one person speaking up, but it just again highlights the catastrophic failure of all of the dark nefarious ones and their complete and utter incompetence in keeping men like you and men like David Rousseau from joining with the rest of the world. And only recently I know that you and David Rousseau um, have connected more to the English speaking world. Um, there is people who are constantly disinformationing in this environment. There are people that put labels. I cannot stand labels. To me, a label is a little box, like stop it, get off. We yes. are not in the truther community. Stop with that. We are on the world platform. There is no community over here. Oh, what's in that community? We are all one and everyone is stepping out. Everyone is standing. They are watching. They are observing the good, the loving, the benevolent. They're all bringing us together. It's so beautiful. I want to ask you, do you think on the day when you suffered sunstroke, do you yeah. think that was a deliberate moment to get you in line with that particular jump room? I think all is, is right in the universe before I think the, the sunstroke was necessary to recruit me. And um, this, is, this is the reason why they recruit me. I think the sunstroke is, uh, is prepared before because um, I remember everything and it's not a uh, hazard, you know? Um, it's not the chance. No. Because a lot of things, I, now uh, and yesterday too is a scoop yesterday too i remember something because i spoke with my best friend in the phone and uh, oh my god oh my god and i realized now yesterday something very strange about a, about a book about a, a date about a years about a, but this is the same time and i think everything is right before very 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 before and uh when i when i see you when i see tony when i see elena when i see david i have a deja vu mm -hmm. but it's the it's impossible because first i'm french i live uh, since uh, 18 years here uh, i don't know you is this the first time we saw you and uh, i i listen and watching your video but because we know each other yeah you know the timeline because we have an extension because yeah. there is a lot of timelines mm -hmm. and people don't know oh why uh, he spent 20 years and uh, uh, how uh, uh, parents uh, 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 where is uh, the boy during 20 no this is a different timelines we have exactly. a different extension yeah. and if you understand that you understand all yeah so i want to share something with you um, just observation and kind of intuitive and, and knowing from other experiences that other people have shared and I myself have had. So I believe on that day, because of the uh, tracker um, in your brain or whatever you want to call it, the, uh, yeah. the tracker, um, there's other words too, and other things it can obviously or could obviously do, that the sun was, um, you know, engineered. There was a purposeful uh, um, level of rays that were going to be penetrated into many children on that day. And they were the children who were gonna respond in the way you did, that were gonna end up in that hospital, that were all then gonna be part of that jump. How does that feel to you? Um, first of all, I think the, the, the implants where I was in my head was removed because after that uh, I'm ringing in the, uh, in the Portic uh, airport, and uh, now it's 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 not. Uh, and uh, I have a near death experience. There is a few years I was dead in uh, in nine minutes because I was a doorman in the in a bar because I'm uh, uh, 
martial art expert since uh, 24 years. And uh, I was in uh, security and uh, there is a fight and uh, I'm full with the uh, with guys. And I put my head in a, in a little um, silver um, metal uh, coin. And uh, I'm dying nine minutes. Uh, it's, it's very long because uh, I have no sequel and uh, my head was very huge. And uh, open eyes, uh, no earth, earth beat, um, earth beat, uh, very uh, I'm dead. So um, I don't, I don't see a, a tunnel or anything. But I remember something. I was naked in a table, metal table. It is very cold, and there is a lot of beings around me. And I, I remember listening, amazing grace the song mm. amazing grace okay mm. and when i wake up uh, i was in a, in a hospital and um, everything uh, my head was normal and uh, everything was normal so um, i think they changed something in my head i don't remember what but i remember that the in the hospital there is a, a lot of uh, children and something, these children have something special because uh, every every children here is special. It's not a, a normal person is here. Well, mm -hmm. I think there is a capacity, uh, abilities, and uh, the 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 test of the fear mm -hmm. was to determine uh, her, her power. Yeah. Many many failed. Many failed. Yeah. And I remember just there is just one it was me and i remember uh, when i was in in training in uh, in solaris in the school there is a, a training for all all child in uh, in this in this uh, classroom with uh, david mm. david was a human the other was an extraterrestrial but me maria tell me oh no you have a special training for you why and because you are a superstar seed. I never heard that before. A superstar seed, what, what does it mean? Because you can teleport with any device. Okay, and come with me and I go to a room and you know what? This is your teacher and this was a mantis. And Elena, remember the same mantis and she draw the mantis in the book i don't know this book and <laughs> she tell me look and i oh my god this is a mantis she cried <laughs> together we cry because amazing. how could it's possible to have uh, the same place and uh, I, I remember when i was uh, in in this uh, big spaceship the Solaris was a, a spaceship different. The Excelsior was a, a big mother spaceship. And this spaceship, there is a, a shop. There is a restaurant, cafeteria. I remember the cafeteria. And it's funny because when I talk about the cafeteria in the Excelsior, Elena describes the same cafeteria. The same, you know? Yeah. With the same button, with the same uh, panel, with the same, with the same food. And I say, oh, I remember uh, I want a chicken with a vegetable. Uh, okay, example. And this is a, a, a beautiful uh, hologram photo, but <laughs> it was like uh, a poo. It's a, it's, <laughs> wait, it, it's, it smell and it, it tastes the same, but the same thing in, in, uh, in the description. And she laughed and said, oh, my God, it's funny. It's the same thing. And did you remember another thing? Yeah, uh, another thing, yeah. When I was to, um, to uh, go with my friend and uh, uh, tell, uh, oh, uh, how is that uh, today? Or oh, go to the bar. Okay, it's for uh, amusement. Thank, uh, the, really? A bar? What? Uh, explain to me. Oh, yeah, is this a bar with a bay windows with a big space view and uh, there is a robot uh, back bartender with uh, in levitation, no feet. Zzz, I think, oh my God. 
and she put her book and she <laughs> showed me the same robot with a plate. Wow. And, the, and, and she asked me um, a little question. Okay, um, what sort of drink you drank? Oh, okay, good question. I remember this is a, a blue drink with a... What? A blue drink? Wait, it's amazing because it's the same drink I described in my book. Oh. And she told me it's a book with the same drink, blue drink. Okay? This is incredible, no? Yeah. And, and uh, we... we we spoke about uh, inside the corridor, there is um, a tour, like you, you take your, your feet on the ground and uh, it's light and we teleport um, more far in the, in, the, in the spaceship because it's a big spaceship. There is an ecosystem, there is a, a lot of things, there is a animals, there is a, they, they create, recreate um, a mountain, river and uh, uh, for, uh, different alien spaces, different human spaces, uh, every races, every beings in this, uh, in this big spaceship, mother spaceship, have uh, our, our environment. And I, I described the same thing. And uh, it was very uh, impressive because all details corroborate uh, all details uh, of Elena. And uh, she write a book and uh, me and English, I do my best, but uh, I don't read this book. And she writes this book in August. And my movies was a month before that. Amazing. And when I describe the, the I, she tell me, oh, can you draw the, the spaceship? Uh, what it look like? Oh, yes. And <laughs> I show the, the Excel structure. And uh, she changed of color, and uh, the face was uh, because uh, this is oh my god, this is the same. And this is the same spaceship, the same, all detail. Mm, it's so after David, yeah. after David, there is Elena too. Yeah, yeah. And you're all French. It's so beautiful. And to the people that go, well, there's no proof, you know, how can anybody prove? How can somebody out there saying, these are my experiences, how can they prove? Um, well, hello, we now have you. <laughs> she draws my no, hand. This is a proof. Elena Dena, this is a proof. David yeah. Rousseau, and others. But for you guys in particular to kind of have that revelation of being on the set on board and meeting the same mantis is just beyond, beyond, beyond. Um, you mentioned animals. Do you remember the kind of animals that you witnessed on board? And it's the Excelsior oh. <laughs> mothership we're talking about, right? Uh, a different animals like here, but I remember uh, so uh, a dinosaur. Not a big lot, but it was a prehistoric uh, prehistoric animals. It, it was not a, uh, like a, a turtle. It was very, the face was uh, prehistoric. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So the background here, this is the Solaris. Now, can you share the yes. difference between the Solaris and the, the Solaris? Yeah, the Solaris is a, is a spaceship to uh, go through uh, the universe to save people with a weapon and a lot of things, okay? But the Excelsior, uh, there is a weapon to Excelsior because it's, uh, it's uh, like a, a big town in, uh, in um, like a bubble um, dome, like, like a dome, right. okay? And it's a big mother spaceships. I, I, I don't remember how many people live in here, but it was uh, like, uh, if you're tired and you want to change your mind, go to Excelsior. And uh, there is a lot of things and uh, you, you can live and uh, a few years and uh, you can't uh, go to all uh, the, the spaceship. <laughs> Amazing. Because there is a lot of things. There's the rivers, the environment, the mountains, a, a waterfall, and a, a, it's incredible. And when I was in the cafeteria, I remember some some joke or some uh, <laughs> and and Elena tell me exactly the same joke. Like um, I remember the gray, the alien gray smell like um, 
eggs, you know, uh, <laughs> very particular. Yeah. And she, she tell me, uh, oh, yes, I remember that because there is a, a, a smell particular with very, very hot smell. And uh, we joke with that. It, it's very funny because we, we have the same joke and the same. Uh, and very important. There is a uh, one month. I am in my bed and I dream I was in Ireland. I never go to Ireland in my life, okay? Ireland. Ireland, okay. That's where we live, uh, Elena. Mm -hmm. And I am in a, in a pass uh, with a fog, a fog, and I am in a pyjamas. It's a very uh, lucid dreams again. And I look uh, the sky and I, I see um, a big cloud with um, a big spaceship in a cloud with a mountain. And I remember I take the end of some somebody and is, this is Elena. And oh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Elena, why you, you take my hand? I am in uh, <laughs> with my girlfriend Melanie, so uh, it's curious, no? Adi, come on, come with me. I want to present to my family. And she raised her head, and I, I wake up. So next day, hey, Elena, I, I have something to tell you. Oh, okay, go ahead. And uh, I dream of you. Okay? I, I describe the, the dream. And she tell me, oh my God, what? I have the same dream, but I don't remember you, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking what I'm doing here in, the, in, this, in, this, uh, in this way, uh, in the mountain with uh, a big spaceship in the cloud. And I have the, the end like that, but there is nobody because the era's memory. And yeah. uh, she, and she tell me, you describe, Don Charles, the place behind my house. And uh, Toran, next day after, tell, yes, I see John Charles, but um, he must recover a memory alone, not mm -hmm. you. So it was unbelievable. We do the same dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe that? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yeah, it's just fantastic. Yes. So just a note to the audience here. Obviously, we are trying to bring as many different details because Jean-Charles has already done three beautiful, very powerful interviews on his experiences. And so we're just kind of peppering through other experiences to kind of, you know, create this or continue this tapestry of your your whole life. Um, I would love to, though, go back to um, the time after you leave camp after you've had your experience um, at what point were you recruited and can you explain exactly what happened and that with the 20 and back or whatever program that you were put into and what was your role okay um when i have uh, my son stroke I, and after i go to the summer camp i was recruited in the uh, in the solaris and i am in the class and during a few years i was uh, training with uh, alien races and a lot of things with David, okay. And after that, they 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 put me uh, to um, the same time timeline, the thirteen years, in my bed, in my room, on the chalet of the summer camp, and arise my memories about that. Thirteen, okay. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, okay. At the 20, I go to my military services, okay? Normal in the, in the earth, uh, my On normal earth, service. In France, your French yes, military yeah, in, service. Yes, in the, in the commando parachutist. And during my training, I was an accident, a very big accident. Uh, my shoulder was a break and uh, my muscle was... a. Uh, and I go to military hospital. I arrived in the hospital and 
the doctor tell don't speak with the guys here because this is the psychiatric department but me i i like to speak with everybody mm. and uh, she tell me an amazing story open your minds amazing story about in the night there is a military with doctors bring patients into a bed with will and go down in the basement and they follow the guys and the what's matter what's matter and when they open the elevator there was a beings with a black suit with the reptilian faces and take the person and close oh my god okay so i decide to go to check if is real i go down and i'm in the front of the guards where where are you here oh so wrong yeah. wrong level sorry and the guys leave and i go to the to my room the next day again no guards and i see the same thing they climb with the guys with military and they open the door and uh, i'm near the morgue and uh, I see the same be but not the same beings with a reptilian, but a tall gray with a skin like a blue gray, blue gray, no, like the big guys. Mm. And oh my God, okay. So I go to the room and the next day I found uh, where is the guys with the story. And the doctor tell me, it's not your business. This guy is not here. Where are they? It's not your business. And the guys disappear. I never seen the guys after that. I go to my room and the doctor said, oh, don't, you, don't forget your treatment for your, um, your shoulder. Okay. I have a treatment for my shoulder experiment treatment the um the treatment apparel um, it's like a futuristic uh, i don't remember i remember the name it was excalibur and she's a, a light a light uh, infrared uh, in my shoulder and uh, they forget me and they have an injuries in my skin they burn my skin oh my god so they want to uh, afraid that uh, i action in the justice because uh, i can lost my uh, my my arm in there is a mistake so uh, i very very it's very very um, painful okay so they give me an intravenous with um Morph morphine you know morphine yeah morphine morphine, morphine. Yeah. and uh, it's a it's a hard and i am in my bed and with the morphine uh, you uh, uh, <laughs> everything <laughs> everything is fine <laughs> okay yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and and before i collapse i i see the doors open with the doctor and the military and they put me in the bed and go to <laughs> go to the basement okay. and at this time i arrive there is a a, a a huge blue light and i'm not painful everything is a is uh is okay Ooh. go no oh no 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 i remember sorry i uh, i feel um 
a thing, injection. In, injection in my neck, and uh, suddenly, uh, like a adrenaline, and uh, I don't uh, don't have my arm. Uh, everything is okay, and go to uh, this way. And this is the time who has begun my secret space program because I was training when I was a teenager. And now this is the first time I go through the, the temporal, uh, the, the, the Stargate. Stargate. Yes. And this... my service begin at, at this time. Okay. Before I was trained and now they, they know me because it's very important because it's it's very difficult to explain my life in uh, one hour or two of course, hours. Darling. I I lost something and uh, yeah. I don't want the, the the people say oh he searched a word because he like no 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 yeah. it's very difficult for me because I'm French so I explain myself in other language so I must uh, use my brain to translate okay. uh, and it, it's it's not easy so sorry for people uh, listening please do to not me. please don't do that please don't apologize are you kidding me like dude are you shitting me right now you've <laughs> been through the most extraordinary life not only have you survived but you have mm. managed to speak english in the most beautiful fluent way take all your courage and stand before you know, English speaking audiences globally. So please do not apologize. I'm just so desperately sorry for some of the horrible things that you have suffered. And I'm just so grateful as millions of others are that you are sharing because in your sharing, sharing is healing and teaching and revealing and others will also come to their own awareness, you know, their own real life, not made up like, oh, I want to be on a secret space program, you know, too, because for some people that yeah. sadly happens that what that's doing, it's masking other traumas they've had in their life. You know, as a therapist, I do come across this quite a lot, um, but it is just remarkable that the levels and I wanted you to just quickly if it's all right just go back to the moment that you were going to go through the star gate this is this is so I, I'm, I'm going to before I enter the star gate and uh, after the uh, injection there is a time I remember because uh, it's uh, difficult for me there is a table with a a, a person it tell me Put your hand in this box. You remember? Yes. This for to compare my DNA. So it was this, the sequel of, of, of the hospital when I was a sunstroke, you know? Right, right. And I take my hand and the X-ray and, okay, that's good. Go to the, the Stargate now. And I go to the Stargate. And when I arrive, there is another blonde woman. She's Maria. And she tell me, welcome back. You know, it's not too long. Uh, sorry. Uh, I, know, I don't know you. Oh, excuse me. Come with me. We go to the room, to a room, and I go to a tube like a cylinder and I feel like a photocopy, you know. And in uh, two seconds, I remember everything, mm. my training, everything. And she gave me a suit with um, a triangle with a sphere, like the um, a space uh, conglomerate. I don't remember e exactly what I mean, but I remember I follow her in a big amphitheater with a lot of space as, uh, spaces. This is the same child, but adult in the room. And there is David. And she, hello, come, come, come. And I am in the with David and Maria go to the center and she speak about with a lot of people and behind her there is a, a big I send you the the the, the drawing 
it, it's um uh a star um pleiadian with a a, um, a planet with a ring and when i described this to elena she tell me oh my god he looked like a very uh, impressive the galactic uh, confederation i don't remember galactic confederation the galaxy of, of worlds intergalactic federation yeah and it was the start to okay now your training is finished now you can go to the the space department and uh, each people have uh, specialties teleportation telekinesis uh, combat uh, fighting uh, rescue empath and uh, we have all specialties and we have a squad and we go to uh, to a different uh, spaceship like solaris like uh, excelsior last solar warden solaris is a part of solar warden fleet oh that's good to know can you tell us what Solar Warden is, please, before we jump ahead? Alors, Solar Warden was um, uh, a program to protect the solar system. And um, a lot of people speak about Solar Warden, but so, for people, Solar Warden was uh, uh, just American. But it's, it's false. There is another country in the space, okay? And now we discovered something piece by piece they discovered Artemis project. Artemis they discovered, project. yes, they, now there is a, a space fleet, uh, space force. A, a lot of people, they, oh, it's, it's funny, it's funny. It's look like uh, uh, the, the logo of Star Trek and uh, it's, it's not possible. And when uh, the president Donald Trump uh, uh, announced uh, the space force, nobody, nobody laughed. And when in the, in the, in the White House, he discovered, he showed the logo. It's the same of Star Trek. Mm. And you know what, my friend? You know the serial TV, um, Star Trek Discovery. Mm -hmm. So Star Trek Discovery, there is a one week. There is um, an episode in which there is a bar with a space view. Okay, but they drink a blue drink. Mm. Yeah. The same blue drink. And the, it was after my interview with Elena. And after, before that, we have recording this. Uh, somebody tell me, oh, he, he exists in Star Trek. Oh, sorry, I'm a Star Wars fan, not Star Trek. I don't remember the blue, uh, the blue, um, the blue drink. Uh, it, it's, uh, but it, it's a Romulan, um, Romulan uh, drink. Right. I, I don't know that. It, it's incredible that the detail inside the 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 film, the movie, and the series TVs, mm -hmm. and uh, it's 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 uh, crazy because uh, the reality is inside and uh, you, you know we don't you we don't lie and we don't invent everything because uh, some people are connected in the same source uh, with this souvenir and uh, i think a lot of people uh, was in uh, the spaceship excelsior and solaris and uh, it's time to wake, uh, and uh, this is the reason I have a déjà vu uh, when I see you, when I see Elena, when I see Tony, when I see Randy, and uh, my first hypnosis was in 2014. The first April, 2014, and I remember everything I tell you now, but the first announcements of uh, Space Force of Corey or um, Randy was the 4 April. So three days before, I described everything my girl write in her book. Mm. But it's so I was not parasite by uh, something. If you read something, you, your brain can imagine something. But if you don't know anything, yes. like uh, the book of Elena or, or something, and you 
tell this before people spoke about that. And I have, when I was seven, it was 40 years year later, before mm -hmm. every announcement about. And uh, somebody tell, oh, no, no, don't tell that because uh, it's very dangerous. Okay. But if I was stuck, 14, I yeah. was the first. Yeah. But yeah. this is a... Uh, you would have been shut down they probably or, or harmed in some ways we know well in a view some could say that you were so you were basically um in a space program and um were you there for 20 years or some people mm -hmm. say that the, do you believe this can i ask you directly there are different people and i am not questioning any of them i'm not i'm just asking the question because i do mm -hmm. not know the answer to this is there truly a 20 in back a 40 and back, a 60 and back space program with age regression. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yes, I saw uh, in the spaceship a room with a different weapon and, and I saw a different injection with a liquid. And this, this injection was to age regression um, to... Um, to people with, uh, a, and I remember the med bed was not just med bed. It was regression bed too. There is a program and you can change your DNA and you can heal in a few seconds. And I remember in my room, because I have a, a space room when I can, uh, I can uh, um, uh, sleep and uh, I sleep just eight minutes, eight minutes, I program my, my med bed, I lying in my bed and recovering like uh, eight or 10 hours of sleeping. Mm. So amazing. Um, there's so much on the planet. Of course, we've had this technology that you're speaking about. We've had it for hundreds of years. It's been taken, held from us and used to put back bodies of soldiers together so they can just be thrown out. That's one of the reasons why that technology was used and we know it. Um, in Romania right now in particular, um, there's some, they call them life pods, medical beds. Everyone's like, where are the med beds? Where are the med beds? The technology that was, we've always had is definitely coming out. And um, mm. um, somebody like Sasha Stone, for example, who's this incredibly beautiful, fierce, ass kicking um, humanitarian. He's in Romania right now. And um, I'm due to do a broadcast with him to discuss this very technology. Um, hopefully in the next two weeks. But yeah, there is mass disclosure with all quadrants of all different types of people, whether it's military, humanitarian, po political, financial, it's all now yes. here, which is so beautiful. Earlier, you shared a brief synopsis of a time when you fought with a black Draco and you suffered yes. an injury. Can you tell us yeah. about that, please? Yes, um, I was... Uh... 26 years approximately i was adult i was not teenager because when i was teenager i was training i have not a mission to save people when i was people understand it was just the session when i'm training to be for, for the future but when i was adult i was with david for a mission rescue to mars and we go to uh, this planet and um, to, to, um, to rescue um, some people, uh, slavery by uh, the Draco. And um, we arrive in the planet. And I remember uh, David was afraid because he's an empath and he feels something wrong to me. And he was younger than me, though I was my brother, so I was to protect him. And I remember a, a few Draco arrive. And I remember there was a huge black Draco. And the, the, this black Draco can um, think what you want to do before you do. So if I want to kick, he know I kick. So he was very, very fast. And he go to David and I push David into the corner and I have a belt with a, a, a force field 
and I don't have any enough time to to put the bush to push the button to protect me, and the tail of Draco slice and, and slice me in 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 the back, and I'm crying in the horrible, and uh, I fall in the, in in the ground, and the the the, the squad of of David shot the Draco and. Uh, uh, hurry up, hurry up, uh, um, John Charlie's on the ground, uh, and, and they, they, they put me in a, in a little um, spaceship to, to go to the, I'm, re, I'm dead, like uh, I don't have uh, any, any life uh, in my body because I'm very, in, the injury is uh, very, very bad, okay? So we go to the med bed in the Solaris, and um, normally it's very quick, but for me it was very very long because I, I was near near death. Okay, and after that, uh, I remember that I was um, rescued, and uh, David come in uh, in uh, in the bedroom, and uh, I was um, I, I was um, Hill, you know Hill, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, everything was okay. And I remember after that, all my all my squad was very um, grateful that I my life was safe. And uh, after that, we go to the fiesta. To the fiesta, <laughs> we go to the bar. Ah, oh, nice. And this is the reason why I remember the bar with the blue drink. But I. Take a shot. It's it, no because there is an oxygen, a, a, a little uh, bubble, oxygen bubble. It's very uh, and uh, you can lost uh, consciousness. And uh, it's very funny because uh, Elena tell me oh, don't don't uh, don't drink too fast because it's very dangerous. And why? And because the bubble inside. You remember? Yeah. What color? Green. Yes, green. Yes, in the in the in the bottle, yes, yeah, there is a, a green bubble inside the blue uh, drink. And if you drink too fast, the 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 molecule of a bubble, it's oxygen, go to your uh, brain, and uh, you lose consciousness. So this is the same detail, you know. That's so crazy. All detail, I I, I tell you. Is yeah, right. Yeah, is absolutely. right. Yeah, and in, in a through, in in a book. Yeah, of, of David. David yeah. is a uh, translate oh. uh, very soon the, yeah. the 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 book. Yeah. There is a 20, 25 pages in uh, uh, postface postface um, in uh, in the end of the book, and it describe everything. I tell you the Draco, Maria, the classroom, the training before. He spoke to me. The, 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 the book was written and it was in a library, um, in, the, in the press, you know, uh, when you finish the book. Publishing. Press. Publishing. Yeah. He, he was in, in publishing when mm. he spoke. I, I remember mm. everything. And he sent me the book in PDF because uh, this is my friend. And the, uh, don't tell anything, but just uh, this is the, the, the post of us. Um, the preface, uh, you know, preface in, preface. in English. Preface, yes, preface. Preface. Uh, I, I want, I write the preface oh. for, 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 for him, mm. but I don't know what he writes in the right. postface. You know, so yes. I discover and I'm crying like a baby because I don't spoke with David since two months before he's very very uh, concentrated to write a book and me to make my movie revelation stars started revelation and when he saw my movie started revelation oh my god did, did you read my book not yet i'm very busy why read my book so i take the book and when i arrived in the end of the book I was traumatized because people think, oh, it's it's a wrench, it's it's a it's a joke, it's not possible. Yes, I swear it's it's real. There is the same details, the solaris, the med bed, the Draco, the injuries, the Maria, 
probably yeah. Maria, Maria Orsic. And yeah, uh, I was the gonna ask you about her, sorry. Yeah, optics. Uh, uh, the mantis, uh, the room, the space room, ex mm. exact, uh, the cafeteria too. Mm. And uh, he, he write a book and uh, how, could, how could it possible? Tell me. Uh, every 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 people okay I ask a question yeah, for every people yeah. how it's possible uh, and and michael tell it is a unique story because there is nobody in the world with the same detail uh oh we have abducted okay a lot of people we have in the in a spaceship okay but the same name oh okay the same name mm, it's 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 strange and the same room and the, and the same experiences. And uh, I write two books and you are inside. Okay, maybe it's uh, corroborate, but it's not corroborate. It's like, it's, it's identical. Yeah. It's exactly, exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's just so <laughs> mind blowing and fantastic and beautiful. Um, I've got three very quick questions for you here. Um, I wanna ask you, of all of the abuse that you've taken on your body in terms of fighting in the 20 year program that you were in, do you have yeah. any scars from those injuries left on your body? Okay. No. All right. That no. was one question. Question number two, it's very quick ones because we've got so much more yeah. to cover and we've yeah. already been playing together now for two hours nearly. Um, <gasps> and uh, yeah, I know, I know it was so, so exciting. Uh, people can always like pause and come back, but I think we should just keep going. <laughs> it's such a beautiful um, exchange of information that you're sharing with us here. Um, when you shoot a Draco with a space weapon, be it laser or other, do the yeah. Draco disintegrate or do they just fall to the ground like a human person would? Oh, disintegrate. Uh, like, uh, you know, like um, when you burn um, a paper. Yeah. You know, mm. it's a, a disintegrate. Disintegrate. Yeah, disintegrate. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. third quick question. And if you need more time to answer, please go ahead. Maria or Marie, yeah. blonde haired, blue eyed, met you. Now, who do you believe her to be? And who did she tell you that she was? For me, uh, I think it's uh, Maria or Chick. Uh, because after that, I read a book and I know Maria um, was um, built uh, uh, some uh, spaceship for uh, for Nancy, you know. But after that, she um, she felt something wrong, and she built a fleet to um, to live. And before uh, uh, she was um, with a uh, in. Um, in a good face. Um, uh, I don't uh, explain that. Um... That's okay. Let's go back a little bit. It's all right. Let's go back a bit here. There'll be some people that have never heard of the name Maria Orsic. O R. No, she, she don't. She don't. She she don't tell me I am Maria Orsic. She right. tell me just my name is Maria, but everybody Holy call me great. Mary. Yeah. That's it. Me, I, I see a, a blonde woman like a Venusian, okay, uh, with a big blue eyes. So for me, I okay, it's like and and uh, David tell me he, he met the same woman, but she tell to David, I am Maria or sick. Right. It is right. a difference. Yeah, difference. Okay? So back to her. So you were saying that at some point she was um, building spacecraft for the Nazis. Yes. And something in her decided that perhaps they weren't on the good side. So she yeah. created her own fleet and yes. took off and left the planet in yes. those. Uh, yes. And there are many different stories about this woman. And you also shared there a moment ago that you believe her to, to have come from Venus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe she have she had an extension of 
of uh, a clone of Maria because she's very older now. I think um, they can duplicate uh, Maria. You know, it's it's possible. It's it's. It I, is. I say that it's yeah. possible. It is. Um, can I because, share something uh, with you? Can I share something? Um, yeah. So just a kind of a, an observation for myself in my own life, just to kind of kind of you know pan this out a bit. So nine times out of ten, because I'm a clairvoyant medium, so I've always seen people who have deceased, and I've seen every species you can imagine on and off planet. So largely, when a person who's died, a human who's died a human death, they will present themselves around 30 years old because they can, basically, they can. Of the alien or off-planet or galactic brothers and sisters species that I have seen and that I see, they also tend to present around the age of 30. Mm -hmm. So I've come to understand, I mean, I bloody would, if I could put switch a switch inside of me right now, totally love to present at 30. I'd want all my wisdom. I don't want to switch out or trade my, my knowledge. No, thanks. No, no, no looking younger for me is worth, mm -hmm. is worth this. Uh, but you see what I'm saying? It's like everyone. Um, so <clears throat> do you think also that the image of Maria could have been like a program because on earth we've all heard stories from the 1940s about her and that there are you know psyops that happen even in space stations and even in off-planet craft I know that for a fact without sharing detail that people still make mistakes people on and off planet still make mistakes so what do you feel about that you think it is a, is a program inside of me and I I uh, I I think it was that, but it's not that, is that? Potentially, is, is that... or... No, no, or no, 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 no. Right, because Maria can be used no. as a, <clears throat> a screen, no, no. like, hey, this is somebody you've heard about historically, it's all right, you're safe, you're good, when it could potentially be... A no, 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 okay. no. I am. I, I was contacted by uh, by uh, good, and uh, is not the bad would, would take in my head, this is good and this is bad. No, no, no. This is really good. Yeah. People contact me. Uh, beings it's not a program I, I i understand some people say yes don charles uh, no uh, he's a good guy but maybe he's a bad guy and they want you inside their head no 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 i am a good guy and I'm a, i am a good being with contact with good aliens it yeah. is not a program i swear yeah i know I know, and I know that absolutely fill out with every cell in my body, but you know, there are some, there yes. are some, and I just want to like anyone who's watching this that might have those thoughts, let's just get them out of the way, let's speak to them, and then let's just move on from that. Um, okay, did you ever see Maria again from the first time, the second time you saw her, when she uh, put um, you in the pod and you got your memories back, did you see her again? Yeah, I, I, I see Maria the first time when I was uh, 13. Um, after that, when I have 20. And uh, after that, uh, just dream of, uh, of Maria. But I feel something inside of me that uh, there is a link for, for every, every time because mm. She was very um, impressed by the the link between me and David. And uh, I remember when uh, the 20 back is finished, we enter me and David uh, inside the tube. And uh, she tell me everything with a rise. And when you go to the, your life, for me in the hospital military, you know, and uh, David, to other life and you don't remember everything so we cry together and uh, she looked at me and uh, she felt something inside uh, of her uh, like uh, oh okay this is a friendship like that mm -hmm. and she was very touched by uh, friendship me and david mm -hmm. that's so beautiful i'm just so glad in that in the confusion of all that that you had each other um, now we made a lot of notes and I don't know if we're going to get through all of these because there's just so much to cover. Um, but um, 
could you please talk a little bit about um, Operation Pegasus and the connection yeah. to the Tesla um, technology, um, you know, sending children, um, kids into the future. So you can take your time on each section and just share whatever you feel is appropriate. Yeah. Um, the first time I remember for the wing horse, uh, it's like a deja vu for me. So I do a research in the internet and I discover that the Pegasus project uh, that uh, Andrew Braziago uh, tell about uh, send uh, uh, people, send children in the space and in other dimension. And I read and oh my God, it was the same thing. So Pegasus project is like a sequel of Monto project and Philadelphia experiment project with a Tesla and Einstein and blah, blah, blah. But it's, American again. And I have something inside of me that, okay, I don't remember why, but it was in the night. I researched in oh, the CERN. CERN, C E R N. The, yes, the Center National Research uh, uh, in uh, Switzerland. And um, there was a big uh, Adron collapse. Uh, it's, a, it's a big uh, big device um, to search the particle of God. And uh, they try to open a gate between the universe. And uh, they spend a lot of money to research and I discovered America spent 500,000 million of dollars to research in the CERN. But when he, he, he makes this research, there is a, a big storm in the sky with a um, purple storm. And uh, nobody have electricity and the people tell there is a black hole open over the city and they curiously make a serial tv that uh, stranger things the stranger things before they call the series stranger things the title before was Montauk Project. Montauk. But, Montauk. Yeah, Montauk Project. Projects. M O N T A U K. Yes. Montauk, Montauk is a sequel of Philadelphia Experiment. And he was open the door with serious, serious crystal with a Montauk chair and disappear somebody in a hall of light curiously, all of light, and through into the universe or dimension or travel time. Everything is about the work of Nikola Tesla, because Nikola Tesla have made a time travel machine. Yeah. Really, really, really works. Mm -hmm. Some people can travel and change a different timeline. And some people like us can feel something wrong, like the, um, you know, um, Mandela effect. Mm -hmm. You know the Mandela effect? Did you know Mandela effect? Yeah. Mandela you... effect is a timeline different and uh, a lot of people remember something happened, but it's not happened. And I have an example of that in my life. Mm -hmm. I remember something with my, uh, the mother of my, my children and my parents, and uh, we share the memories of something. And a lot of people say, no, it's never happened. Are you kidding me? I remember that. No, it's not happened. And it's not happened, but we remember. So somebody can change the timeline. Totally. 
Before we go any further, I want to stay inside this beautiful kind of knowledge, this infinite knowledge of what Tesla brought, that his um, technology has been used for, well, I mean, early, uh, late 1800 on, um, when he really kind of came into the fore. And you mentioned the Montauk chair. And you the, 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 yes, the right? CERN. The CERN right. was awake project. Okay, but I know there are people that won't know anything of this. So let's go back okay, a okay, bit for okay. them. So the yeah. Montauk um, program, if you could explain that. And you mentioned that Sirius crystals. Are you talking yes. of actual crystals from, from, the, from the star system Sirius? Yes, okay, yes. Right. I, I, heard, I, I heard something because um, the first experiences and the Philadelphia experiment was to uh, disappear a, a big boat with um, the people in, inside, but the people don't know the experience. Yeah. When the, the boat come back, the people was stick and it's very horrible inside the molecule of the structure of metal, something wrong. So they stop the experience but they stop, they don't stop. They continue the experience in the Montauk. And somebody tells that the extra extraterrestrial tell to, because there is a agreement with a, a people in the government, okay, I can help you. We know what's wrong in your experiences. You miss something. Oh, it's what? It's a serious crystal. And apparently they give a crystal and at this time it works and they can go to uh, the past and the future and, uh, and a lot of things and, and, and change something. But we are in, imperceptible, but somebody, some uh, with abilities say, hmm, it's curious, what? I think it's not the reality. Like, something's wrong. I'm just getting big flashes all around my room. Yes, I'm sorry, yes, 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 yes. We're oh. talking. You yeah. know, it's normal because uh, when I record with Elena, we record with um, Michael. There, there is something happen each time. Yeah. Well, look at us. We went to to record, and everything crashed down. Everything just exploded, and and, and uh, yeah. But it's just so beautiful. Sorry. We are protected. Continue. We are protected. We, we are. There is so much love in this room, mate. There is, they are watching us. They're like watching us on screens, up and downstairs, all the benevolence, yeah. all the beloveds. Yeah, they so are. Yeah, please continue. This is amazing. So, those, uh, it's, it's, no, <laughs> you'll have to, to tell something. Uh, I was uh, in serious crystal, yeah? Yeah. But they, they, they want to change uh, the, the reality. And um, from, sometimes uh, some people tell, uh, I'm not crazy. Uh, I remember that, and uh, he checked with a, 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 a friend, he tell nothing. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. And the guy tell the same uh, memories. And uh, you know what? He, just for to check the, the, the remember, but it's not happen. What? It's not happen. Thank you. I explain to you later, but um, thank you. There is a lot of thing happens to me. I think we are a lot of extension, my friend. And you know what? One day I was uh, with my parents in a diner, family dinner. And um, the next day, some, somebody tell me, hey, uh, how are you, Jean-Charles? Uh, yesterday it was a fun in the Champs-Élysées. Uh, I was not in Champs Elysees. Yes, we spoke to do, together, and uh, I take you in my arm, and uh, and your wife was here, and uh, you. He described me. It's not some somebody uh, look at me. He, he look me, okay. It's it, it's 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 me. I was uh, remember come yes like a déjà vu uh, this person, but I, it's impossible. I was with my grandparents and my parents in the dinner, so it. But it was me. 
So there is different timeline with a different uh, Danny, different uh, Elena, different Jan Charles, different uh, Tony. And this is the reason why the people say, oh, but it, it, we, we, we can be a lot of extension of us in a different dimension. Mm. I'm sure of yeah. that. That's so bonkers. I hope I'm thinner than the other one. Just kidding. But um, yeah, there's a lot to get your head around um, in that kind of parallel universe, parallel life, um, yes. you know, transference dichotomy. I mean, I think that's another um, area that we'll leave today, that specific um, uh, uh, subject. Otherwise, we won't get through um, <clears throat> the other things. May I ask you, what color are the Sirius crystals? And are they from Sirius A, B, C? Where are they from specifically? Uh, um, I remember um, I saw a, a crystal, it's uh, blue and purple mm. Mm. reflection. Gorgeous. And do you know which constellation they're from in Sirius? Uh, no. Okay. No. So the gray aliens bought that technology to tell the guys who failed with the Philadelphia experiment, these are the crystals that you need to insert to make this um this frequency actually um this frequency yeah. jump actually happened okay so shall we move on if you're happy with pegasus operation pegasus montauk philadelphia experiment are you happy to move on to project awake yes um so i i discovered the um, andrew Brasiago talk about um pegasus project but pegasus project was american and I discovered a same project called a wake project. Curiously, it was the same works to put something or somebody in the time space and uh, teleportation and uh, with people like a child and a uh, and lot of things. And I discovered America found for a million of dollars, the research. So America funded Project Awake. Yeah. But yeah. it wasn't an American project. It was elsewhere yeah. in the world. Yes. Yeah. Yes. OK. Anything else to say on Project Awake that you want to share? Mm, no, uh, that's all. But if you have a question. Uh... Um, I think that because they all kind of come from there's I mean, there's the same projects and programs globally, and they have mm -hmm. been for over 100 years. Uh, they're always experimenting, always um, wasting humans and human lives to, you know, carry out their, um, their need to each country, um, each state and each nat nation to be the biggest and the best, you know, and the people that put themselves at the top are all involved in that. Um, just coming back to um, you and everything that you've gone through as a little child and being in space, in a military situation, position, fighting other terrestrials from different scenarios and battles, as a person who's come back and then has to function on a planet where up until a recent period, no one has ever believed you. How have you been able to deprogram, decompress, like heal uh, from PTSD? I mean, there has to be traumas that occur and I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but if you are able to share something, um, please feel free to do so or just say the next question. Um, it was very difficult for me because um, there is a judgment, there is a incomprehension about people. So I, I must keep my secrets uh, since now, because uh, I know it's time to share. Uh, some people tell me, don't do that. Never, never, never. Don't talk about that. And I see some people like uh, Tony and a lot of people spoke about that. And uh, it's time for me to share my story. Uh, I know it's an incredible story, but I have incredible proof and incredible witness. And um, I'm preparing uh, the sequel of um, uh, Revel Starseed Revelation. And, and some people uh, watch my first movie and uh, there is the witness. Don't talk about 
25 years ago and they decide to help me to spoke now so it was unbelievable for me because uh, some people say well you have no proof you have no witness you have no i have all that times come i have all that it was very difficult for me because uh, i live um, in uh, in in earth <laughs> So um, maybe the more difficult is uh, to share something uh, happen in, in my life. So I, I was very lucky because my wife, Melanie, uh, believed me and she have an experience too. So um, I think the universe sent me the good person to me now. Uh, and uh, when I found something um, very, um, very bad or a very, um, there is a people like a troll, like a troll in, yeah. the, in the internet. So uh, I, I, now I'm, I don't care because uh, I have a lot of proof like uh, never seen before. And uh, Michael, um, investigate to me during uh, two or three years before made me an interview because uh, Michael is an incredible person and uh, incredible researcher. Yes, he is. And, we'll talk uh, about Dr. Michael Sala. Yes. Yes, Michael Sala. It's incredible. And uh, before he interviewed me, he, he asked me a lot of questions, you know, a lot of pages of question i think uh, the number of question he, he, he asked me i can make a i can make a book yeah, yeah. before he can he, he take me okay i do an interview with you and uh, the, the 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 story with uh, michael is uh, incredible too because uh, there a few years before i read a book of michael and i see in a part of my life inside and I, oh my god and uh, i was a feeling inside of me that I know I one day I meet these guys and it was uh, unbelievable because I live in Montreal I'm yeah. French I, I was in Montreal and he live in Hawaii yeah. so it's it's impossible but the universe decided other things totally and can I and, share uh, something I, sorry to yeah. interrupt you because we're talking about the great Dr Michael Sala so I have interviewed him, guys. I have interviewed Dr. Michael Sala on my channel, on this channel, Danny, spiritual therapist. And it is such a beautiful interview because it's just he and I, and we're just learning all about him as a child, a teenager, a young man, an adult, to the man he is today and and he really shares so much of himself because we often see him in this you know very beautiful interviewing situation with his great videos I mean the man works so hard and for 30 years has been creating and development developing the art form now known as um, exo politics um, that's what he has his PhD in also um, but yeah to you guys out there who really want to know who is Dr. Michael Sala? I invite you to go to my channel and look up that beautiful broadcast. And then you'll know again who Jean Charles is referring to for those of you that don't know. Um, so brilliant, please continue. So uh, I, I read the book and uh, I tell you to uh, a friend of mine, um, I, I know one day I, I meet these guys. Two days be after the my friend tell me, hey, you know what? You believe to the synchronicity of the universe? Yes? You met Michael Sala. How could you met Michael Sala? Because he, he go to Montreal in Canada to a seminary, a conference, and uh, you can, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I send my movie, South Shore Origin, about my life uh, to Michael, and I dedicate to Michael Sala for the researcher uh, blah 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 and mm -hmm. in the in the beginning of my movie and uh, he asked me uh, very quickly oh my god thank you very much Jean Charles uh, I like your movie and uh, I meet you uh, when I go to Montreal and um, I go to Montreal and I connection with Michael and uh, I feel the link between 
me and and uh, and Michael, and uh, we turn. Uh, he accepted to be a cameo in my next movie, South Shore Origin Two. So we, uh, it was a pleasure for me and an honor for me and for him. And uh, he tell me if you have an occasion to go to Hawaii one day, not but no problem. And a few weeks later, I have the occasion to go to Hawaii. And we go with my wife, Melanie, to take a shot uh, for my movie in Hawaii, 24 years, a uh, 24 hours uh, plane and go to Hawaii. It's crazy. Uh, I live in Montreal. I I'm going to uh, Michael Salah house. What? Oh, my God. And we go to meet again Michael and we shoot the movie. And you know what? The unbelievable things, and you, the the the, the background for a movie, uh, Hollywood movie, is uh, when you go to uh, Mauna Kea, is the uh, lava, and uh, it's a very very high. It's a mountain, the more high of the world. Okay, and uh, there is a, a kilometers of uh, lava, uh, like um, it's you look like um, Mars, or uh, you look like in uh, in the moon. And uh, when you were go uh, in a high, um, <laughs> I, I asked to uh, Michael, Michael, I have something to tell you, my friend. He said, yes, go ahead. She, I want to ask Melanie to fiance uh, in, in here. Can you put this instant, memorable instant? And Michael was my witness. Aww. That's and you so know, <laughs> it's not finished God. because Mike, Michael was very emotive. You know what? For this moment, but because he tell me this is the same place, the same place he asked her wife. Angelica. Oh, Angelica. And so uh, it's, it's, oh yes, it was unbelievable. And uh, the link was... Uh, very very hard mm. and i have a lot of much love for uh, angelica and, uh, and michael it's uh, oh, uh, so amazing special. person yeah yes, yes you know again what's so wonderful is that you do, you haven't just met michael Salah, and you know it's like this has been years in coming and and again so for all the skeptics not that you know at this stage we don't even engage with skeptics and we don't even waste time or one breath trying to prove anything. Those Wait. days are in the past. Oh yeah. We are done. We are moving forward with full disclosure every single day. That's it. And can you can you imagine can you imagine walk into the sand with the sunrise with Michael, go to the restaurant in Hawaii and spend a lot of time to spoke about my life with uh, with Hawaii background and uh, it's uh, unbelievable when you mm. when you think that in the two or three three years go to Hawaii are you crazy man mm. and 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 now it's it's unbelievable yeah. and and now it, it, it's it's in uh, mm. yeah. oh, my god I think another good um way for people to kind of really understand this disclosure also when it comes to Dr. Michael Sala and the people that mm -hmm. he works with. If he is sharing your information today, then it's because yeah. you have been checked out, verified on many different levels. As you said, this incredibly oh, yeah. in-depth, yeah. but not just this is military grade, this is off planet, this is this is intergalactic proof witnessing, this is many different levels. So Dr. Michael Sala, if he is, if he is um, sharing people's information, it is because he thinks and others that support him truly believe that the people putting themselves out there with their stories are 100% true and real. And if he's not putting people's information out right mm -hmm. now, it means that he doesn't and others mm -hmm. do not trust the information. It's yes. really, really very simple. It's very yeah. simple, yeah. Brilliant. Oh my God, darling, we could just keep on going. I am so delighted and honored that you've given me so much of your time today. Uh, we are two hours, uh, about two and a half hours coming up to it, <laughs> maybe 2.10, because we were talking quite a bit before we actually kind of hit record. 
Um, I, gosh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy that you've you know, reconnecting with so many different friends and that you've had the courage and bless you. At one point, just a very short few weeks ago, you were like, I can't have English speaking interviews. And look at you, boo, you're like fluent as the next person in your explanations and expressions. I do my best and uh, it's better than that. I, I know I know I, I, I make a mistake for the time of past or present or future when I spoke uh, and oh. maybe I search my word and I French English mix but but the people uh, understand me this, this is a principle and uh, I do my best and uh, I think I'm not bad. I, I, I understand all great. everything you you tell me. Yeah. I understand everything. Yeah. No, yeah. So um, I hope uh, the inverse is uh, is right too. Totally, totally, and I'm so grateful. And uh, I'm going to put there's a lot of detail to put under this broadcast. You beautiful audience watching. I so hope you're... I hope people understand me. If I, oh I don't understand you. Of what course you they mean. do. Of course they I hope, do. I hope. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. I had another beautiful soul the other day, another gladiator warrior, um, um, Jermaine, Jermaine Chavez. Um, okay. He is an African-American, gorgeous dreadlocks. And he has- Oh, yes. I, I, I think uh, there is a, yes, you have an interview with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Me, yeah. him and Elena last week. And yes. he, I love the way, and he says, he says things like, that's some bullshit, you know, <laughs> it's just going to be so weird expressing, if we can understand Jermaine, we can definitely understand you, and it's a myth, you know, we're now tuning our ears more and more to all the different accents, and it's much more um, easier for people to understand, and honestly, if one person was to say one thing about an accent, and they can't get into the information, then the information is not for them, move along there, move along with love. So, Jean Charles, um, would you like to share any final words to um, to, to to the planet, to the people? On our oh, planet? yeah. Uh, do what you want. Share your your story. If uh, it's crazy, uh, it's not, because uh, my life is uh, special. So I know there is a lot of people have a special um experiences and they they be afraid to share because the judgment you know what you are already judgment you you can um be uh for all people uh, want to um to love you it's, it, it's it's like it's like that uh and share your story share your experience share everything because it's important uh, the humanity um, uh, knows uh, there is not me or uh, Tony or Elena. We are a few, a many people in the world to have lived an experience, bad or good, okay? And uh, it's very important because the open minds of humanity uh, begins uh, since two years because... Uh, there is a lot of things. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm controlled to 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 not cry too. Huh? Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm very emotive. Um, that's uh, I'm very very um, grateful and uh, thank you very much, Danny, to um, to let me explain my my story. Uh, it's not enough two hours or three hours because uh, I think about another thing but we don't have any time and, yeah. and uh, it, it's 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 a long time two hours uh, yeah. for, for people but um i have a lot of things to to talk uh, maybe a, 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 another times we, we do a, another interview mm -hmm. because my life uh, can't resume two hours it's yeah. impossible impossible and uh, and uh, this is uh, my word is uh, I send you much love, uh, a lot of uh, light and um, take care of us, everything and uh, um, think positive every time and you attract positive. It's very important. The um, think creates what you, what you are. Mm, so beautiful. And again, 
you know, thinking positive is great. And you can say that because you've done so much work on your shadow self, on the trauma that you've gone through, on the heartache and the heartbreak and the fright and the being disbelieved and the threats that you've had. And you've done all of that in a work. So now that you're at the point where you know that that positive, being truthful, being honest and sharing, because there are so many of us now sharing in different ways that it's too late. It's too late. This is full disclosure. We are in it and there is no going back. There's no technology that can change this timeline yeah. now or erase or delete at all. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, come forward, come forward. Definitely. Jean Charles, thank you so much. I can't wait to, ha to have another conversation with you and bless thank you. you. And thank you so much. You're, you shared so much today in so many different ways and different levels. And to you guys out there, thank you for watching. I send you my love and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much, Shaul.